right we are talking about images we talked in a previous video about how to arrange images that are one uh, after another now we are talking about anchor images so let's see how this could be very useful in this project we have a paragraph and we have a logo here and let's see uh, what we can do in anchoring uh, this logo um, we can move it um, so let's anchor to page let's anchor to page and let's see we have four option to paragraph and two character and as character now let's suppose we want this and let's uh, unwrap this let's have an optimal wrap if i'm moving the project okay so the paragraph are changing let's see okay a logo stays here this is very important so um, the anchor is to page so I want the anchor to stay here, will stay here, no matter how the text will move. Um, also, we can change the, the space between logo and text, and we have this wrap option. And I can do better here. Let's, um, let's uncheck in contour. So now it's much better. So if I'm moving the project, you can see the logo stays here. I want to stay here, the logo will stay over there. Or I want in the title or something like that. Um, I can have an image here or anything, not just this text, simple text. I can have project one or part one or anything here. And this will stay where we want because we anchor to page. We want to stay here, we'll stay here. Let's see again. I'm moving the paragraph, but this logo will stay here. Okay, let's go to see more. Let's um, change this. First, let's uh, have a small logo and let's move to paragraph you can see here it's anchored to this paragraph so if i'm moving i if i'm anchoring to this paragraph when i am entering here this will move with this paragraph let's see So let's, uh, this is anchor here in the top. So if I'm pressing enter here, you, get, you could see it's moving along with that paragraph. Uh, when this could be very useful, when we have something like an image for a certain paragraph and we want them to stay together. So if I have paragraph two, and the image is very important for paragraph two, like that. I'm moving the here. And of course, this paragraph will have the image with it. You can see here. Okay. So it's very, very nice to have this. Um, okay. Paragraph two, have an image. The image goes with, um, with paragraph. Uh, also, we could uh, increase that um, distance. So uh, it looks more with more space. Uh, top and bottom. Let's go further. Let's see to character. So um, if I'm moving this, something like that. Let's uh, wrap right. So 
let's see what is happening now uh, if I'm breaking this okay so this is staying with that part of the text it moved here and so on so I can connect this um, image okay or this shape to any part of it of the text so let's see as character in this case the difference is that the line will have the height of the image I have a very high image now if I'm clicking near let's see so it's as character I don't have optimal to check here and let's see you can see here the line height of that row is very very big because of this image so the image is not near paragraph it's in line in line with um, on that line where we uh, anchor it so in this case um, the image uh, became part of the line it's very useful for example when we have a smiley face or something very small and we want to be on the same line as the text so that was all about um, anchoring so we have seen anchoring to page when we have a logo a very important logo to have on a page uh, we have seen with paragraph uh, an image connected to a paragraph and we want to uh, keep them together and uh, as par character to character when we uh, want to be in a certain sentence and we need them so very useful uh, when we need it very important to to know that we can use them thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos